Welcome to Stoic in Your Life. Today we'll unravel the mysteries of personal growth and intellectual development. Intelligence is not a gift, but a skill honed with discipline. It's a quality that has fascinated scholars and psychologists alike, proving to be a cornerstone for success in every dimension of life. Consider how luminaries like Steve Jobs and Albert Einstein transformed their fields and the world. Their stories reveal that intelligence is not solely innate, but can be developed through dedication and curiosity. Even Einstein, once deemed a slow learner, became synonymous with genius, proving that our intellectual limits are bound only by our effort and persistence. In today's episode, we dive into the transformative power of simple daily habits that can significantly enhance your cognitive capabilities. Whether you're already a keen intellect or someone aspiring to broaden their mental horizons, these 18 habits promise to elevate your intellectual prowess beyond what you've imagined. Join us as we embark on a journey of discovery, where every day holds the promise of a smarter, more insightful you. One, reading. The act of reading an age-old practice stands as a testament to the human thirst for wisdom, offering a gateway to unexplored worlds, ideas, and perspectives. This quest for intellectual growth resonates with the stoic belief in continuous self-improvement and the pursuit of virtue. As Seneca, the revered stoic philosopher aptly put, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. It underscores the idea that the path to a well-lived life is paved with the stones of knowledge and understanding. Delving into the realm of literature, even if, through the modest commitment of reading just two pages a day, has the power to transform the very fabric of our brains, scientific studies, including MRI scans, have illuminated the profound impact that engaging with a book can have on our neural pathways, enhancing brain performance and connectivity. This illuminates not only the tangible benefits of reading, but also its capacity to reshape our minds and expand our cognitive horizons. Yet the challenge often lies not in acknowledging the value of reading, but in cultivating the discipline to integrate this habit into the tapestry of our daily lives. In an era where distractions abound and time seems perpetually scarce, committing to the simple act of reading, two pages a day, emerges as a beacon of feasibility and hope. Such a manageable endeavor may seem inconsequential at first glance, yet its cumulative effect is anything but. Over time, this bite-sized approach to reading can sow the seeds of wisdom, gradually expanding our knowledge base and enriching our intellectual and emotional landscape. This strategy also speaks to the modern man's quest for self-improvement and personal growth. In a world that often equates success with constant busyness and hustle, the proposition of dedicating a few moments each day to quiet reflection through reading offers a refreshing counterpoint. It invites us to slow down, to immerse ourselves in the thoughts and experiences of others, and, in doing so, to broaden our own understanding of the world and our place within it. Moreover, the choice of material to explore can be as varied as the readers themselves, ranging from the classics of literature and philosophy to contemporary works that challenge and inspire. Each page turned is a step taken on the path to becoming more informed, thoughtful, and, ultimately, smarter individuals. This practice not only feeds our minds but also nurtures our souls, reminding us of the beauty and complexity of the human experience. By consciously choosing to engage with enriching texts, even in small doses, we are investing in the quality of our thoughts and, by extension, our lives. This simple yet powerful habit is a testament to the idea that personal growth and intellectual development are not only about the grand gestures but also, and perhaps more importantly, about the small, consistent steps we take each day. 2. The Power of Reflective Writing Amidst the hustle and bustle of daily life where the noise of the world drowns out our inner voice, finding clarity and purpose in our thoughts becomes a quest of Herculean proportions. Yet there lies a simple, yet profoundly powerful tool at our disposal, one that has stood the test of time and continues to shine as a beacon of enlightenment and self-discovery. Reflective writing. Reflective writing, or the art of penning down our thoughts, 
aspirations, and tribulations, serves as a mirror to our soul, offering us a glimpse into the depths of our being. It's akin to a dialogue with oneself, where the pen becomes the mediator between the conscious and the subconscious, unveiling truths that were once shrouded in mystery. In the act of writing, we embark on a journey of introspection and analysis, dissecting our thoughts and emotions with surgical precision and in the process, weaving a tapestry of understanding and insight. The Stoic philosopher Marcus Aurelius once remarked, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. This timeless wisdom echoes the essence of reflective writing, for it is through the quality of our reflections that we can sculpt our minds enriching our intellect and nurturing our spirit. Writing does not demand the finesse of a poet or the eloquence of a novelist. Rather, it requires the authenticity of the individual, a willing mind to converse with the depths of one's essence, unafraid of the truths that may surface. Consider the act of writing not as a task, but as a voyage of discovery, a daily pilgrimage to the sanctuary of your soul. Let each paragraph you write be a stepping stone towards self-awareness, a lantern illuminating the path of personal growth and intellectual enhancement. As you delve into the narrative of your life, you may find that the answers to the questions that perplex you lie within the very words you pen down. This reflective journey holds the potential to transform your perspective, enabling you to view your life through a prism of clarity and wisdom. Albert Einstein once stated, Any man who reads too much and uses his own brain too little falls into lazy habits of thinking. Reflective writing, therefore, is the antidote to this malaise, to, a practice that fosters critical thinking, creativity, and cognitive flexibility. It encourages us to challenge our preconceived notions, to question the status quo, and to seek solutions to the enigmas that life presents. In the modern era where information inundates our senses and the pace of life accelerates with each passing moment, reflective writing serves as a sanctuary of calm, a haven where we can retreat to make sense of the world and our place within it. So I urge you, take up the pen, embrace the power of reflective writing, and embark on this transformative journey. For in the words that flow from your heart to the page, you may just discover the keys to wisdom, peace, and intellectual vitality that you have been seeking all along. 3. Play Chess Engaging our minds in stimulating activities is not merely a pastime but a profound investment in our intellectual future. The impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. Marcus Aurelius, a revered Stoic philosopher, once declared, This wisdom resonates profoundly when we consider the game of chess, a timeless endeavor that not only entertains but sharpens the mind. I recently embarked on the enriching journey of playing chess and it has swiftly transformed into one of my most insightful decisions. Chess is not just a game. It is an intense battle of wits, a dance of strategy and skill, where every move weaves a narrative of attack and defense. Each piece on the chessboard holds potential and peril, demanding constant engagement from your cognitive faculties. This continuous cerebral engagement acts as a rigorous workout for the brain, keeping it agile and active. Research underscores the long-term benefits of intellectually stimulating games like chess. A study highlights that individuals over 75 who regularly engage in such mental exercises are significantly less likely to develop dementia than those who do not. This isn't merely about delaying the inevitable, it's about enhancing the quality of your intellectual life. The brain, like any muscle in the body, degenerates if not regularly challenged. It is vital to keep it bustling with activity and chess offers a perfect mechanism for this. However, the choice of game is less important than the act of engagement itself. Whether it is chess, puzzles, or other strategy games, the key is to choose activities that challenge you, that make you stretch your mental capacities. By regularly engaging in these activities, you not only foster an environment for intellectual growth, but also pave the way for a healthier, more vibrant mind. As we navigate the complexities of modern life, finding time for such activities can be a challenge, yet the rewards are indisputable. 
integrating mind-stimulating games into your daily routine can be as simple as playing a chess match on your phone during your commute, or setting aside a dedicated evening each week for board games with family or friends. The goal is to make habitual the act of intellectual challenge. Incorporating these practices into your lifestyle not only enriches your immediate mental acuity but sets a foundation for mental resilience. As John F. Kennedy aptly put it, the time to repair the roof is when the sun is shining. In the context of mental health, regularly engaging your mind in challenging activities is akin to maintaining and fortifying your intellectual roof against future storms. Thus, let us embrace these habits not as mere diversions, but as essential components of a smarter, more fulfilled life. Each move on the chessboard, each puzzle piece placed, each problem solved, is a step toward a more robust intellect and a clearer, more effective mind. 4. Listen to podcasts at a speed of 1.5 to 2 times. Listening to podcasts at an accelerated speed of 1.5 to 2 times, the normal rate, is a clever trick that can significantly boost your information intake without demanding more of your time. This method hinges on the fact that while the average speech rate clocks in around 150 words per minute, Numerous studies reveal that our brains can effectively process up to 300 words per minute. By tuning your podcasts or audiobooks to play at 150 to 200 percent of their original speed, you're essentially aligning the spoken word with your brain's processing capacity. The dual benefits of this approach are straightforward yet profound. Firstly, you're able to consume a greater volume of content in a shorter span effectively doubling your learning opportunities without sacrificing additional hours. Whether it's during your morning commute or as you prepare dinner, this method ensures that every minute counts twice. Secondly, and perhaps more intriguingly, this practice trains your brain to process and understand information at a quicker rate, adapting to the increased speed and with remarkable agility. Over time, this not only enhances your listening skills but also sharpens your overall cognitive functions, making you quicker in comprehension and more adept at navigating through vast amounts of information. Consider the story of Jamie, a project manager who began listening to leadership podcasts at a faster speed during her daily jogs. Initially skeptical, she soon noticed that not only was she able to keep up with the accelerated dialogue, but her ability to absorb and recall information during meetings had also improved. This small adjustment in near routine yielded significant gains in her professional and personal development, demonstrating how a simple change can lead to substantial growth. Now think about your own routine. Could this method help you harness the power of podcasts or audiobooks more efficiently? Imagine the topics and knowledge you could delve into with just a few tweaks to your listening habits. As we wrap up, the key takeaway here is straightforward. By adjusting the speed at which you consume audio content, you're not just saving time, you're also enhancing your cognitive efficiency and broadening your intellectual horizons. It's a small habit that could make a big difference in how swiftly and effectively you learn and adapt to new information, turning everyday moments into rich, educational opportunities. How will you implement this technique in your daily life to foster your personal and professional growth? 5. Make your neurons powerful. While it's widely acknowledged that reading and studying are direct conduits to enhancing our knowledge, what's less commonly understood is the potent relationship between our physical activity and intellectual prowess. Research has illuminated this connection, showing a strong correlation between the two. Engaging in activities such as cardiovascular workouts and strength training isn't just about physical health. It's a cornerstone of cognitive development. These forms of exercise are not merely movements but are transformative rituals that promote the growth of neurons, those critical cells responsible for transmitting signals within our brain. As we cultivate new neurons, we're not just expanding the physical boundaries of our brain. We're complexifying its structure empowering ourselves to think more deeply, solve problems more creatively, and grasp concepts more readily. This process of neuron growth is akin to planting seeds of wisdom within ourselves, where each new neuron adds a leaf to the tree of our intellect, allowing it to grow broader and reach higher. Stoicism teaches us about the harmony between the mind and body, 
a principle that's beautifully echoed in the practice of physical exercise for intellectual gain. Marcus Aurelius, a Stoic philosopher and Roman emperor, once said, The color of your thoughts colors the world around you. This poignant statement underscores the transformative power of nurturing our mind through the care of our body. As we engage in physical activities, we're not just sculpting our muscles, we're molding our thoughts, enabling a richer, more vibrant perception of the world around us. Now, I invite you to reflect on your own life. How often do you integrate physical exercise into your routine? Do you view it merely as a task for physical health? Or do you recognize its profound impact on your intellectual vitality? Consider how altering your perspective on exercise can redefine its role in your life, transforming it from a mundane task into a noble pursuit for intellectual enrichment. Let this understanding guide you as you forge ahead, embracing physical activity, not just as a path to a healthier body, but as a journey towards a more powerful mind. Let it be a reminder that in the pursuit of wisdom we must not overlook the simplicity of our daily habits, for it is through these practices that we shape not only the course of our day, but the depth of our intellect and the breadth of our spirit. 6. Intelligence is Contagious It's been said, and rightly so, that intelligence is contagious. Reflect on the circles you move in. Do they challenge you, spark your curiosity, and encourage your growth? The wisdom of the ancient Stoics offers a guiding light here, as Seneca once remarked. Associate with those who will make a better man of you. Welcome those whom you yourself can improve. The process is mutual, for men learn while they teach. Imagine the transformative power of surrounding yourself with individuals whose intellect and wisdom inspire you to reach new heights. It's not about creating an echo chamber of agreement but rather fostering a community where challenging ideas and robust discussions propel you forward. This principle doesn't mean you should shun those who think differently or hold varying degrees of knowledge. Instead, it's an invitation to be deliberate in seeking out relationships that enrich your intellect and spirit. However, stepping into circles that teem with brilliance and knowledge isn't always comfortable. It can be downright daunting to engage with minds that seem leagues ahead. Yet. It's in these very moments of discomfort that the greatest potential for growth lies. By making a conscious effort to connect with the brightest individuals you can access, you embrace a unique opportunity for intellectual contagion. Their insights, perspectives, and knowledge can spark a profound transformation in your own thinking and understanding. But how do we bridge the gap between admiration and engagement? It starts with a genuine curiosity about others' experiences and ideas coupled with a humble recognition of our own areas for growth. It's about asking questions, listening intently, and being open to new ways of seeing the world. The smartest person you know shouldn't be a distant idol, but a part of your community from whom you can learn and to whom you can also offer insights. Intelligence, after all, is not a one-way street. It thrives on exchange and interaction. Let me pose a question to you then. Who in your life has inspired you with their intellect and wisdom? How can you deepen those connections? And what steps can you take to expand your intellectual community? Remember, the journey towards wisdom is not a solitary one. It is a path we walk together, learning from each other, and growing smarter not just through the knowledge we accumulate, but through the shared experiences that shape us. Seven. Einstein's Principle of Learning Dive into the wisdom of one of history's greatest minds, Albert Einstein, who brilliantly encapsulated the essence of learning with his profound statement, If you can't explain something simply, you probably don't understand it well enough. This principle, though simple, peels back the layers of superficial learning that often plagues our education system. How many times have you found yourself memorizing facts and figures for an exam only to forget them as quickly as you learned them. This cycle of shallow learning does little to foster true understanding or intellectual growth. Instead, Einstein encourages us to strive for mastery, to grasp the underlying principles of what we learn so thoroughly that we can explain them in the simplest terms to someone else. Consider this modern dilemma. In our fast-paced world, 
inundated with information, the ability to learn deeply and efficiently is more valuable than ever. Yet how often do we take the time to truly understand the flood of data and ideas we encounter daily? The truth is, mastering the skill of simplifying complex concepts not only makes us smarter, but also empowers us to share our knowledge effectively, making the world around us a little wiser in the process. Now picture a young entrepreneur, Alex, who dreams of revolutionizing the tech industry with an innovative app. Despite their expertise in coding and design, Alex struggles to articulate the core benefits of their app to potential investors, leading to missed opportunities and frustration. It's only when Alex returns to the drawing board, embracing Einstein's principle, that things begin to change. By focusing on understanding the app's unique value proposition so thoroughly, that they could explain it to a child. Alex not only gains clarity, but also learns to communicate more persuasively, eventually winning over investors and users alike. This story underscores a critical question. Are we taking the time to truly understand the essence of what we learn, or are we content with skimming the surface? Engaging with this question encourages us not only to seek deeper understanding in our pursuits, but also to consider how we can share our knowledge with the world in a way that enlightens and inspires. In Embracing Einstein's Principle, we learn that the pursuit of knowledge is not just about personal enrichment. It's about simplifying the complex, making the inaccessible accessible. It reminds us that the true measure of intelligence is not just in the accumulation of knowledge, but in the ability to distill and share that knowledge in a way that is understandable and meaningful to others. As we navigate through the dense forest of information that life throws our way, let us remember the value of simplicity and understanding. Let's challenge ourselves to not only learn, but to comprehend deeply, to not only memorize, but to master. For in mastering the art of simplification, we not only become wiser, but also illuminate the path for others to follow, fostering a world where knowledge is not just acquired, but shared understood, and applied. This, my friends, is the lesson we carry forward, that to truly know something we must strive to convey its essence simply and clearly, enriching not only our own minds but also the collective wisdom of our community. 8. The Illusion of Knowledge In an era where information is as ubiquitous as air, it's easy to fall into the trap of accepting everything we hear or read without a second thought. This phenomenon often termed as the illusion of knowledge, stands as a formidable barrier in our quest for true wisdom. It's a common predicament. Many of us navigate through life taking the surface-level information, the readily available answers, without digging deeper. Yet, the simple act of fostering a mindset of inquiry can significantly elevate our intellectual capabilities. By adopting a stance of perpetual curiosity, we challenge the very foundation of our understanding leading to a more profound comprehension of the world around us. Consider for a moment the sage advice from the Stoic philosopher Epictetus, who famously stated, It is impossible for a man to learn what he thinks he already knows. This ancient wisdom echoes through the ages, reminding us of the importance of maintaining an open mind and the humility to question. Every query we pose, no matter how trivial it may seem, serves as a stepping stone towards acquiring a richer, more nuanced perspective. In the bustling stream of modern life, where every answer seems just a click away, the true mark of intelligence lies not in the accumulation of facts, but in the depth of our understanding and the quality of our questions. To truly embody this principle, it's essential to cultivate a habit of inquisitiveness, to look beyond the veil of apparent knowledge. Questioning popular beliefs or the status quo might seem daunting at first, but it's a practice that can unlock doors to uncharted territories of knowledge. It encourages us not just to accept what is presented to us, but to engage with it critically, to dissect and analyze. This process not only broadens our intellectual horizons, but also sharpens our critical thinking skills, making us more adept at navigating the complexities of modern existence. In the words of Albert Einstein, the important thing is not to stop questioning. Curiosity has its own reason for existing. As we go about our daily lives, let's remind ourselves of the power of questions. 
They are the tools through which we can dismantle the facade of superficial understanding and delve into the essence of matters. By making it a daily practice to question, to be curious, and to seek out the layers beneath the surface, we not only enrich our minds but also enhance our engagement with the world. So, as we stand on the brink of the information age, where knowledge is both our sword and our shield, let's pledge to cut through the illusion of knowledge. Let's vow to not merely consume information, but to question it, to understand its roots, its implications, and its truths. This is not just a pathway to becoming smarter. It's a journey towards cultivating a deeper, more meaningful understanding of life itself. In doing so, we not only become better learners, but also more insightful thinkers, equipped to tackle the challenges of our times with wisdom and clarity. 9. Reinvent Your Distractions In the vast expanse of our daily lives, brimming with the hustle and bustle, it's all too easy to succumb to the allure of distractions that seem to be ever-present, vying for our attention at every corner. From the endless scroll on social media to the binge-watching marathons of TV shows that leave us feeling more drained than entertained, it's clear that these distractions have become a formidable opponent in our quest for intellectual growth and personal development. However, what if I told you that these very distractions, often seen as adversaries to our productivity and mental sharpness, could actually be transformed into powerful allies in our journey towards becoming smarter? Yes, you heard that right. The key lies in reinventing the way we perceive and engage with these distractions. Imagine the possibilities that unfold when you choose to swap out the passive consumption of content that adds little value to your life with activities that stimulate your mind and broaden your horizons. Picture this. Instead of tuning into the latest reality TV drama that leaves your brain feeling like it's been on autopilot, you decide to delve into a thought-provoking documentary that challenges your perspectives and expands your knowledge base. You're still taking that well-deserved break from your work, yet you're doing so in a manner that enriches your mind and soul. Now let me share a story. Think of Sarah, a young professional who found herself caught in the trap of endless scrolling through social media every night after work, a habit that left her feeling disconnected and unfulfilled. One day, Sarah decided to make a change. She replaced her nightly social media ritual with an hour of learning a new language through an interactive app. This seemingly small shift not only rejuvenated her evenings, but also opened up a world of opportunities, including a chance to work abroad that she would later attribute directly to her new language skills. Sarah's story is a testament to the transformative power of redirecting our attention towards activities that not only entertain but educate. So what does this mean for you? It's time to take a closer look at how you spend your downtime. Are there activities you engage in out of habit that could be swapped for something more enriching? Remember, every choice you make about how to spend your time is an opportunity to feed your mind to grow and to move closer to the person you aspire to be. As we journey together through the landscape of personal development and intellectual growth, I challenge you to question the status quo of your daily distractions. Ask yourself, are my current habits serving my long-term goals of becoming smarter, more informed, and more engaged with the world around me? And that, my friends, is the essence of becoming smarter every day. So, as you move forward, let this be a guiding principle. Let your distractions elevate you, transform them into stepping stones on your path to intellectual vitality and personal growth. This is the lesson we hold dear, and it's one I hope you'll carry with you, turning everyday moments into opportunities for growth and enlightenment. 10. Unlock your imagination. It's a fascinating truth that many of the most brilliant minds throughout history have not only been celebrated for their intelligence, but also for their unparalleled creative prowess. This intrinsic link between creativity and intelligence serves as a beacon for those of us on a quest to enhance our mental faculties. Imagine for a moment the boundless landscapes of your mind, teeming with untapped ideas and solutions, just waiting to be discovered. Now think about how you could embark on a journey to unlock this vast potential. The practice of creative engagement, whether it be through writing, painting, crafting, or any form of artistic expression, 
is more than just a leisurely pastime. It is a gateway to elevating our cognitive performance. Research has illuminated the fact that dedicating time to creative hobbies can significantly bolster our ability to generate new ideas, foster innovative thinking, and approach problems from unique and varied perspectives. Therefore, I encourage you to set aside at least 15 minutes each day to let your creative spirit roam freely. This deliberate act of freeing your mind to explore and create can lead to profound shifts in how you perceive and interact with the world around you. Seneca, who said, Life is like a play. It's not the length, but the excellence of the acting that matters. In the context of our discussion, this quote reminds us that the quality of our thoughts and ideas bears more significance than the sheer volume of time we spend in contemplation. By cultivating a habit of creative exploration, we're not just passing time. We're enriching the tapestry of our minds with diverse and complex patterns of thought. Now I pose a question to you, my fellow seekers of wisdom and growth. How will you choose to unlock the boundless creativity within you today? What new avenues of thought and imagination will you explore? And how will these journeys transform your approach to problem-solving and idea generation? The pursuit of creativity is not a destination, but a continuous journey, one that intertwines with the path of intellectual enrichment. As we embark on this journey together, let's embrace the unknown and unlock our imagination. For it is through the act of creating that we learn to think in ways we never thought possible. 11. Outsmart your devices. In today's world, where our lives are intricately intertwined with the digital realm, it's crucial to ask ourselves, how much of our day is consumed by the glow of screens? The truth is, an excessive attachment to our devices can significantly impede our cognitive abilities. It's been shown that prolonged screen time can diminish our attention spans, impair memory retention, and even stifle the vibrant workings of our imagination. Consider this a gentle nudge to reassess your digital habits. By consciously reducing the time you spend tethered to screens by even a modest 20%, you might notice a remarkable transformation in your mental acuity. Imagine reclaiming hours of your day, not lost to the endless scroll of social media or the bottomless pit of binge-watching. This newfound time can become a sanctuary for your mind, allowing for deeper concentration, enhanced energy levels, and a renewed zest for learning and personal growth. Now consider how you can apply this lesson to your own life. What could you achieve with more focus, more energy, and a sharper mind? How might your relationships, your hobbies, and your personal growth flourish if given more space to breathe away from the digital buzz? As we journey together through the exploration of habits that can enrich our lives, remember the goal isn't to shun technology, but to cultivate a healthier relationship with it. It's about making intentional choices to support our well-being and cognitive health. Let this be your invitation to pause, reflect, and possibly to reset. How will you redefine your relationship with your digital world to not only be smarter, but to live more vibrantly? The value in this lesson lies not only in the cognitive benefits we gain, but in the deeper, more meaningful connections we forge with the world around us and with ourselves. A 12. Activate your musical brain. Have you ever pondered the transformative power of playing an instrument, be it the gentle strumming of a guitar or the melodious chords of a piano? Research reveals that engaging in musical pursuits is akin to providing a comprehensive workout for your brain. As musicians immerse themselves in their craft, their brains light up in a symphony of activity that transcends mere enjoyment. The emotional resonance stirred by music touches the depths of the amygdala and cerebellum, evoking a spectrum of feelings and memories. But the magic of music doesn't end with emotion. As you navigate through melodies and rhythms, a remarkable phenomenon occurs within your brain. The motor, auditory, and visual cortexes come alive, firing in unison and creating a vibrant tapestry of neural activity. This isn't just a fleeting effect. Learning to play an instrument fosters a profound connection between the two hemispheres of your brain. This synergy enhances your memory, sharpens your motor skills, and boosts your overall cognitive functions. 
it's a testament to music's capacity to mold and strengthen the mind, offering endless benefits for both amateur enthusiasts and seasoned professionals alike. In the words of the Stoic philosopher Seneca, as is a tale, so is life. Not how long it is, but how good it is, is what matters. Let's relate this to our musical journey. It's not about achieving perfection or mastering every piece to the highest standard. Instead, it's about the quality of the experience, the joy of learning, and the personal growth that comes from challenging your brain in new and exciting ways. So I pose this question to you, dear listeners. Have you ever considered the impact that learning an instrument could have on your life? Not only as a means to entertain or to soothe, but as a powerful tool for personal development and intellectual growth. Let's engage in this dialogue. Share your thoughts and experiences with music and how it has shaped you. Together, in our stoic journey, we uncover the profound lessons embedded in the practice of music, learning to harmonize the teachings of ancient philosophy with the rhythms of our modern lives. 13. Meditation Increases IQ Meditation, this venerable exercise cherished across the globe for millennia, is not merely a refuge for the spirit but a forge for the mind. Scientific inquiry has illuminated its capacity to bolster memory, sharpen focus, and elevate the intelligence quotient, IQ, casting a new light on this age-old tradition. A fascinating study revealed that individuals dedicated to the meditative journey displayed a remarkable 20% leap in IQ scores compared to those unacquainted with this practice. Beyond mere numbers, these meditators exhibited enhanced creativity and a superior ability to remain unflustered under duress, their composure and clarity a beacon to others in the storm of stress. Embarking on this journey of meditation, even if just for a few moments each day, can transform your mental landscape. You may find yourself navigating the complexities of thought and problem-solving with newfound agility and depth. This transformation echoes the stoic wisdom of Marcus Aurelius who proclaimed, The happiness of your life depends upon the quality of your thoughts. Thus meditation emerges not only as a tool for intellectual enhancement, but as a conduit to a richer, more deliberate life. In this odyssey of self-improvement, where we strive to weave the ancient with the modern, meditation serves as a bridge. It offers a sanctuary from the relentless pace of contemporary existence, inviting us to a realm where the mind can expand and flourish. As we seek to fortify our intellect and cultivate a landscape of thought enriched by clarity and creativity, meditation stands as a beacon, guiding us toward a state of heightened awareness and understanding. Incorporating meditation into the daily rhythm of life is an act of self-refinement. It's a commitment to nurturing the garden of your mind, allowing the seeds of potential to blossom into the fruits of wisdom. This practice, rooted in the serene teachings of Stoicism, offers not only a pathway to enhanced cognitive faculties, but also to a life steeped in deeper fulfillment and equanimity. Through meditation, we embark on a journey inward discovering the boundless landscapes of our inner world and the untapped reserves of intelligence that dwell within. This narrative of transformation and enlightenment, underscored by the stoic philosophy and the empirical evidence of modern science, invites you into a dialogue with your own mind. It challenges you to reconceptualize intelligence not as a static trait, but as a dynamic quality, continually shaped and expanded through the disciplined pursuit of mindfulness. 14. The High Exposure Method Dive into the High Exposure Method, a powerful tool endorsed by none other than billionaire Warren Buffett, which champions the idea that our intellect can be expanded daily. Leaders and pioneers in various fields, including Buffett himself, attribute their remarkable achievements to a daily regimen of saturating their minds with a plethora of enriching content. This approach is not about superficial browsing, but engaging deeply with a wide array of materials. From staying updated on the latest global happenings, engaging in thought-provoking conversations with intriguing individuals, to keeping a pulse on industry trends, this method is about immersing oneself in knowledge from every conceivable angle. A day in the life of someone who practices this method, they start their day with a cup of coffee and the latest news, seeking to understand the world's current state. 
they might listen to a podcast on an unfamiliar topic during their commute, challenging their perspectives and sparking curiosity. Throughout the day, they converse with colleagues and acquaintances, each interaction an opportunity to learn something new. By evening, they're not just more informed but buzzing with ideas and insights that could one day translate into breakthrough innovations or lead to personal growth. But what does this mean for you? How often do you challenge yourself to step beyond your comfort zone of knowledge? When was the last time you engaged with someone whose views radically differ from yours, or you picked up a book on a subject you know nothing about? The truth is, while we may never know everything, the pursuit of knowledge is a journey without a destination. It's a commitment to lifelong learning and intellectual expansion. Now consider Sarah, a software developer with a passion for environmental sustainability. By day, she codes. By night, she dives into the latest research on renewable energy and conservation techniques. She's always on the lookout for ways to incorporate sustainability into her coding projects. Her habit of consuming diverse content led her to develop an innovative app that helps users reduce their carbon footprint. Sarah's story exemplifies how integrating the high exposure method into our daily lives not only enriches our intellect, but can also pave the way for meaningful contributions to society. This leads us to ponder, are we truly leveraging the vast sea of knowledge that surrounds us to fuel our personal and professional growth? The high exposure method is more than just a practice. It's a mindset shift towards embracing curiosity and fostering innovation. In wrapping up, let's remember Warren Buffett's wisdom. Flooding our brains with productive material each day sets the stage for generating groundbreaking ideas and uncovering opportunities for growth. By adopting this approach, we not only become smarter, but also position ourselves to make a tangible impact in our spheres of influence. So, I leave you with this question. What new knowledge will you seek out today to expand your mind and enrich your life? 15. Change your diet. How changing what you eat can make you smarter, not just more physically fit, but mentally sharp as well. Food isn't merely fuel for our bodies. It's the foundation of our brain's health and functionality. Think about it. When you fuel your car, would you opt for a low-quality option that could damage the engine? Similarly, fueling our bodies with junk food is hardly the recipe for peak mental performance. The adage, you are what you eat, holds significant truth especially when it comes to mental clarity and cognitive abilities. A diet laden with fast food and high sugar items doesn't just stall your physical health, it's detrimental to your brain health as well. Now let's consider the foods that are akin to premium fuel for our minds. Take salmon, for instance, which is rich in omega-3 fatty acids. These nutrients are vital for optimal brain function. Omega-3 fatty acids are linked to numerous cognitive benefits, including sharper memory, better mood regulation, and enhanced creativity. Unfortunately, our bodies can't produce omega-3s on their own, which means we need to source them from our diet. Studies have underscored the importance of omega-3s, showing that a deficiency can lead to symptoms like fatigue, poor memory, and mood swings none of which are conducive to becoming smarter or more effective in our daily lives. By incorporating foods rich in these fatty acids, you're not just eating smarter, you're actively fostering your brain's ability to function at its best. Seneca, a renowned Stoic philosopher, once remarked, It is part of the cure to wish to be cured. This applies beautifully to our dietary habits. To nourish the mind, we must first desire to adopt smarter eating habits, then act upon this wish by choosing foods that enhance our mental faculties. How then can you start integrating these brain-boosting foods into your daily routine? What steps will you take today to ensure your diet is as sharp as your intellect? Let's not just feed our bodies. Let's feast our minds on what truly nourishes it. By doing so, we're not merely adopting a smarter diet. We're progressing further in our journey of wisdom and mental acuity. So I invite you to reflect on your current eating habits. Are they helping you reach your fullest potential? What changes are you inspired to make after today's discussion? As you ponder these questions, remember that each small step in enhancing your diet is a giant leap towards a smarter, more enlightened you. In our next segment, 
we'll explore another everyday habit that contributes to our intelligence. Stay tuned. And remember, every day holds the potential to become a little wiser, a little sharper, and a lot more insightful. Thank you for joining me on this journey of wisdom, where we seek not just to learn but to transform our lives through the timeless teachings of Stoicism and the simple yet profound choices we make every day. 16. Teach Others Teaching others, whether it's a skill, a subject, or simply a way of thinking, is not confined to the walls of a classroom or reserved only for those with formal titles. Consider, for example, the experience of teaching English to non-native speakers. The challenge often lies not in the transmission of basic vocabulary, but in conveying the subtle nuances and phrases of the language that come so naturally to a native speaker. This process demands creativity and patience as you must simplify and clarify your thoughts to fit the learner's frame of understanding. Imagine you're teaching a child how to ride a bike, the mechanics of pedaling and steering, which are second nature to you, are completely foreign to them. You have to dissect each movement, consider every possible confusion, and communicate in a way that makes sense to someone with no prior experience. This effort not only benefits the learner, but also enhances your own cognitive flexibility. It pushes you to think critically and adapt your knowledge to new contexts, sharpening your mind in the process. In modern life, where information is abundant but mastery is rare, the act of teaching becomes even more crucial. Take, for instance, a software engineer who volunteers to teach coding to high school students. They must break down complex algorithms into digestible parts, which might even lead them to new insights into their professional work. This interaction not only illuminates the student's mind, but also reinvigorates the teacher's understanding of their craft. Why do you think explaining something you know well to someone who doesn't understand it could be beneficial to both of you? Engaging in this dialogue fosters a deeper connection not only to the knowledge itself, but also to the broader human experience of learning and teaching. The best teachers are those who see themselves as perpetual students, constantly learning from the teaching process itself. To effectively share your knowledge, you must empathize with your audience, anticipate their questions, and tailor your explanations to their level of understanding. This requires you to think differently, to approach familiar problems with a fresh perspective. By embracing the role of a teacher, no matter in what informal capacity you not only contribute to someone else's growth, but also catalyze your own continuous development. So, as you step into the shoes of a teacher, remember the profound impact you can have. You're not only passing on knowledge, but also sparking curiosity, building confidence, and opening up new worlds of understanding. Through teaching, you reinforce your own knowledge, and perhaps come away with a clearer, more robust understanding of the subject yourself. This reciprocal enrichment is the true gift of teaching, reminding us that in the act of giving, we also receive. 17. Do not depend on technology. In an era where technology is almost as essential as the air we breathe, it's vital to remember that sometimes the old ways foster sharper minds. Do not depend on technology. This principle serves as a poignant reminder that, while our digital tools simplify tasks, they can also dull our mental acuity. Consider the educational settings of yesteryears, where calculators were often barred from math examinations. The reasoning was clear, to push students to engage their minds more rigorously. As Seneca the Younger once said, it is not because things are difficult that we do not dare, it is because we do not dare that they are difficult. This sentiment perfectly encapsulates the challenge of a calculator-free test. Without technological crutches, students had to rely on their mental prowess, thus sharpening their cognitive abilities through active problem-solving rather than passive reliance. The same philosophy applies to our everyday lives. By occasionally stepping away from technology, we encourage our minds to tackle problems more creatively. This isn't just about improving mental arithmetic or memorization skills. It's about cultivating a robust, agile mind capable of navigating the complexities of modern life. For instance, instead of using a GPS for every trip, try navigating your city using only street signs and landmarks. This not only enhances your spatial awareness, but also makes you more attuned to your environment. 
renowned figures throughout history, have echoed the value of self-reliance. Albert Einstein famously stated, I fear the day that technology will surpass our human interaction. The world will have a generation of idiots. Although somewhat hyperbolic, Einstein's words highlight the potential intellectual decay that can stem from over-reliance on technology. Incorporating technology-free periods into your routine can lead to a richer, more engaged intellectual life. Challenge yourself to go a day without any gadgets weekly and observe how your cognitive functions are summoned to fuller participation in the day's tasks. This practice not only rejuvenates the mind but also restores a sense of control and competence in handling life's daily demands. By fostering these habits, we not only enhance our problem-solving skills, but also maintain our mental faculties well into older age. The journey towards intellectual enrichment is both challenging and rewarding, reflecting the stoic belief in the power of self-discipline and internal growth. As you navigate through the complexities of modern life, remember that fostering a sharp mind is not merely about accumulating knowledge, but about enhancing your ability to engage with the world around you. 18. Learn a new language. Each word you learn is a new color you add to your life's palette. When I embarked on my own linguistic journey in Spain back in 2015, it was more than just acquiring a new skill. It was about opening doors to new perspectives. Although the road was challenging at first with perseverance, I found myself gaining not just linguistic skills, but a bolder, more confident self. The benefits of learning a new language extend far beyond the obvious ability to communicate. Research shows that multilingual individuals often exhibit enhanced creativity, sharper memory, and greater cognitive flexibility. These traits are invaluable, as they don't just make us smarter, they make us more resilient and adaptable in our fast-paced world. Moreover, the mental exercise involved in mastering a new language can be a powerful deterrent against age-related cognitive decline, potentially staving off conditions like Alzheimer's and dementia. In our modern era where brain training apps and games flood our digital devices, it's important to recognize that these might offer temporary engagement, but learning a language offers a lifetime of benefits. It's not just about memorizing grammar and vocabulary. It's about weaving these into the fabric of real-life interactions, enriching your understanding of different cultures, and expanding your worldview. Now let's ponder a thought from the Stoic philosopher Seneca who once said, as long as you live, keep learning how to live. How can we apply this timeless wisdom to our journey in language learning? Each new phrase you master teaches you more than words. It teaches you about life and endurance. Language is not a mere tool for communication, but a bridge to other lives, other souls. I invite you to consider what language speaks to you, not just in words, but in culture, in history, in heart. How might mastering this language alter your perspective or change your interactions with the world? As we continue this series, remember that each new habit we discuss is not just about being smarter. It's about living a fuller, more meaningful life. Keep embracing these habits, keep learning, and let's journey together in wisdom. Seven reasons why you might not have found success despite your best efforts. Intelligent and hardworking yet unable to succeed due to these seven errors, particularly the last two, which many people face. Why do smart and diligent people not stand out in their careers compared to others who may seem a vareg? To achieve success, many other factors are recurred. These may include a luck, daring to think and act, good relationships, or simply leading a healthy lifestyle. Intelligence and diligence are part of these factors, but success is the result of the combination of all these elements. Here are seven reasons why you might not have found success despite your best efforts. First reason, lack of self-confidence. Surprisingly, some very capable people constantly underestimate their abilities. They become overly critical of themselves, thinking they can't accomplish anything significant. In their professions, talented individuals often have high standards. When they undertake a project, they meticulously plan and predict the possible outcomes. While this might seem beneficial, 
it often leads to negative outcomes. Perfectionism can hinder progress or force a return to the starting point. Comedian Russell Brand said, It's hard to trust ourselves because our own thoughts are not real. But in truth, you are a wonderful part of the universe. All the good in the world exists within you. Instead of thinking what will happen or I'm not capable enough, envision how you want your life to be in the future. Start taking action without hesitation. Second reason. Wasting time. An incredibly important thing that successful people try to avoid is wasting time. Intelligent people are aware of the value of time. They understand that spending too much time and effort on one thing can cause them to miss opportunities elsewhere. When you start working hard on something, you might face difficulties, but be patient through the challenges, and you will achieve a worthy outcome. Remember, Focusing your efforts on a single goal will always yield a more satisfying result than half-heartedly engaging, only to feel discouraged and quit before starting anew. You cannot succeed if you keep up such an approach. Third reason, inability to make decisions. Intelligence and diligence can open many doors for you. However, having too many options can make it difficult to make personal decisions. Take the time to think thoroughly and make your final decision. Many people spend a lot of time learning various professions and fields. After years of studying, they still cannot figure out what they truly want to do. If you only understand a problem superficially, take a moment to reflect on yourself. Discuss your issue with others and think carefully before making an important decision. This will help you find the choice that best suits your personality and life. Fourth reason, reluctance to engage with new friends. You feel close and happy when talking with your friends. However, the topics you and your close friends discuss are often limited to old stories, things you and they have heard many times before. You can't learn anything new or useful if you don't seek out new friends. Expand your relationships. New friends will share interesting things that you might not know. At first, it may feel difficult to make friends with strangers. But remember, success is built from small beginnings. Always strive from small goals, such as Spending a little time each week to interact and chat with new friends. New friends will provide you with new knowledge. Fifth reason, conservatism. If you always live in a familiar environment, it will be hard for you to adapt to new things. You need to change your habits to create new opportunities and progress. Instead of stubbornly believing that your thoughts are correct, why not listen to the advice of others and see what changes you need to make to improve yourself? You need to consider others' opinions to find the best methods of learning and working for yourself. Be open and always eager to learn about the world around you. Sixth reason. Lack of courage to take risks. Smart people often choose a safe path to follow. They tread the worn paths of their colleagues because they lack the courage to embrace new challenges. These safe paths will not lead us to success. Many intelligent people are stuck in jobs that they are not interested in and passionate about. They want to change, but they fear facing the risks. If you are considering doing a job that is unfamiliar and unappealing, imagine what your life will look like in 10 years if you don't pursue what you love. Will you accept it, or will it be a long string of regrets? Seventh reason, believing that success will come on its own. People who study diligently are often praised by others. While this seems positive, it is not entirely so because there are also negative effects. Many students believe they deserve success because they are intelligent or educated at a good school. They expect success to come automatically from the knowledge they have accumulated. However, reality shows that success comes from a combination of how hard you have worked, your strategic thinking, and also a bit of luck. It's clear that intelligence is not a static trait but a dynamic skill that can be cultivated and nurtured through dedication, curiosity, and the courage to explore new horizons. Whether it's by meditating to enhance focus, embracing the high exposure method for constant learning, exercising to strengthen your neurons, or engaging in reflective writing to clarify your thoughts, each habit offers a unique pathway to unlocking your intellectual potential. But our exploration doesn't end here. Intelligence is a vast ocean and what we've discussed today are merely drops in that immense expanse. 
Your journey to becoming smarter every day is ongoing, and it's paved with the choices you make and the habits you cultivate. So, I encourage you to not just passively watch this video, but to actively integrate these habits into your daily life. See what changes they bring, not just to your intellect, but to your overall sense of fulfillment and purpose. If you found this video enlightening and believe it can benefit others, please like, share, and subscribe to Stoic in your life. Your support helps us to continue providing valuable content that empowers you and others to live a life of wisdom, courage, and serenity. Don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss out on our upcoming videos, where we'll delve even deeper into the timeless wisdom of Stoicism and its application in the modern world. Together, let's embark on this journey of growth and discovery turning everyday habits into stepping stones towards becoming not just smarter, but wiser and more connected individuals. Thank you for watching and I look forward to continuing this journey with you.